Hi guys, it's Scrap Nuts. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by and if you're a new subby, welcome. Um, yeah, I've said it before, especially if you're new and you haven't seen my videos. Yeah, they're kind of all over the place, so you kind of just got to roll with it. <laughs> you never know because my mind just bounces. But last night I posted a picture of my mailbox. Uh, this mailbox is from Chaos Craft and you can still find that on their store. I know I bought my version a couple years ago, so I don't know if a whole lot's changed. I know I had to do some research when I started this the other day. Well, it's been about a week I've been working on it. It wouldn't take you a week. It's just when I decorate something. I usually put so much thought in it that it takes me forever, and this has been sitting on my desk for a week. The mailbox itself did not. It only took, what, maybe an hour to assemble, it's super easy. There are tutorials out there um, that kind of explain it, but I also thought about maybe just doing my own tutorial on it. So the only thing I noticed in, um, by talking to a friend, thanks Melissa, she's always a big help because she we own a lot of the same dies. Um, this particular set from KS Craft did not come with the back piece. So I don't know if that was normal, if it's you know, is something that was a misprint when they cut the dies on their first batch. I'm not really sure, but Melissa said you do have to to create your own back piece, which was super easy, you guys. And for me, what I did is I took, this is your headpiece that goes up here. I actually just cut this because it does not have a cut line here. So I cut this on a long piece of paper and then measured down and sliced off what I didn't need. So you can see it's one full piece for me. Um, it's got a little indentation of where where I had started that, but you know, it's su it was super, super easy. Not at all. Wouldn't just, I mean, I'll, I'm gonna make a couple more because like I said on Instagram, this is going in my giveaway uh, for my 2000 followers. So, so yeah, it's super cute. It uh, would normally only be about eight inches tall. If you measure it in height, it would have, well, eight and a half, about eight and a half inches tall if you just assembled the mailbox like you were supposed to. But because I created this top piece, because, you know, I can't just leave anything alone. Mine is about 10 and a half inches tall. And then the box itself is roughly five inches wide. It has a ton of storage, you guys. A ton. Look inside there. Oops, I'm bending it. But yeah, look inside there. It's got a ton of storage. You could put so many goodies in here. And I chose to put a magnet enclosure on this. But I chose after the fact. And I had already glued down my designer paper. So I had to just, you know make a little disc there to cover the magnet so anyway then I just I have a thing for for envelopes so I just decorated it with the mailboxes and the envelopes so real quick now on this particular bow is from Scrap Diva Designs it's her double loop bow and I love this bow and it's double double because it comes as a, a set of three different sizes and I, this is the large and the medium. I doubled up my bow part. So it's a what I call my double-double bow. <laughs> and then I put a little dangle on it. So now, you know, the thing of it is, I have not been the best. People have asked me to do um, videos on organizing and, you know, show me, show them what works for me. Well, you don't want Jana's uh, organizational tips for anything, let me tell you, because she is not organized and I don't know how I keep st stuff straight in my head, but I do. And I just, the thing of it is the way I store, I didn't save names and stores as to where my dies are. They're categorized by theme. And so sometimes like this is a perfect example, uh, a bunch of the little mini envelopes and stuff that I use for this project, they're all in just this DVD case and I have no idea whose they are or who made what. Unless I just happen to remember. So, yeah, that's that's Jana's version. So see all my little mini envelopes and letters? Those are, oh, I didn't use this one. I should have used that one. But those are the, I used all the kinds of different brands to create the letters. So, however that letter did come 
with this guy and he is from DIY Art Bin, the little mailbox guy, the mailbox bear. Like I said, this mailbox, I don't know where it's from, but I just loaded that up with, um, layered that up with foam and then made it look like the envelope was sticking out. These, they're from Alex. This one is from AliExpress, I believe, but I have no clue. I don't remember what store it's from. So, because I've had so many, for the last two and a half years, I worked so much that I mean, continued to buy, but I didn't get anything really made until I actually retired. So, yeah. Anyways, well, thanks for stopping by my channel. Um, keep an eye on me on Instagram. I'm getting ready to do a challenge and giveaway for my 2000K followers. I had did a poll, and honestly, I had more people request a challenge, but I've never done one of those. <laughs> I didn't know how stressful it would be, so I thought, well, I'll just do both. I'll do a giveaway and a challenge. So stay tuned because I'm going to be making another one of these and I'm going to be using that as my challenge giveaway. If not, I may use this one. I haven't decided. I really like it. I like the colors. Um, it's doodle bug paper for the most part, but I like things to matchy matchy. So I've never been one to jump on board with all the mix match. You'll, I don't know if you'll ever see that from me guys ever because everything always has to match. So um, and just throwing in red is really hard for me because everyone knows my favorite colors are the pink and the aqua. And, uh, but I was like, nope, I'm going to throw in some, some red glitter paper. So yeah, I don't know if you got a good look at the top of that box. So this stamp is from my creative time. Anyway, well, if you have any more questions, just uh, leave a comment below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and, and mark your bell so that when I do put up videos, I'm trying to get better at it. I'm trying to get better at popping these out for you guys. So the struggle is real. <laughs> well, thanks for stopping by and keep an eye on me. All the links are provided below. Thanks. Bye-bye.